teach us. My name's Steve. My name's Ernest. And today, for this unimportant review, we have the Bandai Movie Monster Series Destroyer from Godzilla vs. Destroyer. Uh, so what'd you think of that movie, Steve? I like Godzilla vs. Destroyer. Really? Yep. One of my favorite of the Heisei ones. Burning Godzilla is cool. Destroyer is cool. I really like the scene of the military fighting the smaller aggregates. I Even though it reminds me a lot of God, Godzilla or Gamera 2, but still pretty cool nonetheless. I, I don't know. I feel like Burning Godzilla is kind of overrated. What? But he's going to melt down and kill everyone. He's on the screen for like five minutes total and... It's maybe ten. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, I like the new Burning Godzilla. Eh, honestly, I like the old one better. What? Oh yeah, for sure. But it, 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 it was... You want to complain about time? <laughs> okay, never mind. I'll shut up. Okay, move on. <laughs> at least he's a focal part of the movie. Not just a random plot point right at the end. Be like, oh, look, he's got two propellers. That's how he beats Ghidorah. Anyways, well, these videos are also unedited, if you guys didn't know. Uh, which, go up on the Patreon in advance so you guys like to support the channel and get it some early access into these fun videos. Or at least we think they're fun. Yeah, we have fun at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Make sure to go support the channel. Anyways, uh, Bandai also want to mention that they sent us these figures to do these video reviews with for Godzilla Day, so which was a few days ago. But we're still gonna get these videos out. We still appreciate you. Yep, because I like free stuff and especially free Godzilla stuff. Bandai sends us stuff periodically, which is great. But they never send us Godzilla stuff, and I never understood why. Because we're like the Godzilla channels. So you think they would focus on that? But they send us, like, Gundams. We got those Naruto figures the one time. Yeah, we did get The Bleach the ones. We got Dragon Ball ones a few times. And now they're finally sending us Godzilla stuff. Thank you. Now they need to send us, we like, we need to keep moving up. We're at the Bandai Vinyls. Now we need some Monster Arts. <laughs> oh, laugh with me, people. Laugh with me on Steve on that one. Hey, at least we still like them. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, but we have the destroyer here. Uh, I was going to say something. Because for the most part, I might... If I'm wrong, you'll see a little expert right after this. But I think this is a fairly new mold. Because there is the larger destroyer. Yeah, I was going to say, I do remember Which we the had. larger one. There's yeah. also the older stateside ones that came up before these ones with the Bandai creations is a different mold. And then I have the Monster Island one, which I think is a little different than this one. I think a little different. Definitely, at least in terms of paint job. But with these guys, these are actually going to be available stateside. So if you guys would like to pick these up for yourselves, uh, we'll be showing up at a, a lot of retailers around here. Are they out right now? or are they? Oh yeah, through? these guys should be out. Oh. If I'm not mistaken, anyways. Uh, plus, with these hey, guys... local Toys R Us, right, Steve? God, I wish. I miss our Toys R Us. We used to have one, like, down... Well, down at the north end of town. I'm not going to say which town, but it used to be at the north end. And it was awesome. I'd go there, like... I would leave work and go swing in there. He was usually there, like, twice a week, at least. You don't understand why our closes, because ours was always kind of busy. Yeah, I was going to say, it was always kind of weird. You know, like, you never... There was at least, like, four or five people there at a time. Yeah, so I don't get that. Especially for the holidays. Like, oh, my curb. But, anyways, one way to know if you got the stateside release. Oh, this is all kanji. What the hell? <laughs> what? All right, so, anyways. So, for this one, it had all English on the inside. This one has all the kanji, but has a distribution sticker. So, you got to make sure to look out for the sticker. Or it just won't have anything. So I'm assuming you probably have the same thing. No, you got the... Okay, that's different. <laughs> I was fully expecting to go into this and just be like, ah, yes. But now it's got all the Japanese stuff for this one. That's... Hmm. You might want to keep that. Don't rip that one off. It's got the destroyer. It's a little bit different. I do like that destroyer smoking out of his neck on the picture, though. Oh, that is neat. Kind of reminds me of the guy we're just shooting out of there. It's the Baconator Titan. Oh, it's also got the Titan. 2017 copyrights here to, to, as well. But anyways, for the actual figure, actually, I'm going to leave the tag on here. Yeah, it is a little different. On the back here, you do get the logo. And you can kind of see destroy destroys spikes there. 
But for its paint job, now what you get is you get some yellow on the horns. I got details on there. Yep, it's for the tip. T for painted. You got the white paint there. Same with the claws on the side there. His eyes good. are done in a gold color. He's even got a little bit of coloring on a butthole on his chest. Oh, I was going to say, does he have coloring on his butthole? Well, I'm talking about the one on the chest. Dude. Yeah, I, like a I wish it had a little bit more here because it's kind of just has like that little spray of the airbrush there. It's just like to just show that this is a weak. It's almost kind of like that weak point indicator. Yeah. In a video game. Also, the claws on the fingers are done in a white as well. Same with the claws on the knees. Is this supposed to be like feet. a bone color or just white? Uh, it's got a bit of that bone coloring. Because I don't remember like being that white in a movie or did I miss something? Uh, it's probably a little bit closer to what you had on the jaw here. Because this is more like, uh, when I'm doing my customs, I use a paint that's called parchment. And that looks similar to that. Here, it kind of looks like it has a bit of the tint to it. But the way that it was applied, I don't think it's just as thick. It looks like it was just spray, sprayed on because you can tell from the blowback. Yeah, just a little bit. But it does have them on the front. You also get a little bit of reds here too. So the vinyl is done in a dark red, but then you get a little bit of lighter red highlights here for like the groin region on the spikes on the shoulders and the especially on the wings here. At least they put in different color. At least on the front. They didn't put it on the back. But oddly enough, along the, sp uh, the plates here on the back, it has the red. I was going to say there's some on the back. Yep, just not on the wing. Huh. So they, I'm almost kind of... They painted the front, right? Yeah. But that's pretty atypical of a lot of flying characters. Like, whenever you see mo like a lot of the Mothra's, the undersection will be painted, but the top will be. And that's just because, for the most part, like, if this is going to be sitting on your shelf... That's how it's going to be. That's what you're going to see. So it doesn't really... The back doesn't need it. That and, again, when kids are playing with these things, also not going to be as big Plus, a deal. Plus, saves at the cost of the figure. Yeah, it also helps to keep the price down. Which, for the detailing, actually looks really good. Especially for it being a little bit of a smaller scale compared to some other movie monster series. Because, actually, I got sitting right here. And I just realized, I think his tail's been hanging out here the entire time, unless I moved. <laughs> <laughs> we got Guy Gain here. You'll see that Destroyer is a little bit smaller in terms of stature. But it kind of makes up for it with the extra vinyl for the wings. Which with a lot of the movie monster series. The wings move? Yeah, you can pose them up and down. Shut the So you can tuck door. them in if you want to. Uh, it's, I think the only, because uh, the legs you can move forward and back to. The arms are fixed. Same with the head. Nothing for the tail. But, like I mentioned, the detailing on the vinyl is actually really nice. Because you even see some of the, uh, the skin texturing there in between the armor plating. The crest, or whatever you want to call it, the armor... On uh, its shoulder looks nice. Same with the arms look really good. Face is really solid. You even get a little bit of like that scrunchiness going on around the eyes. And it's actually a really, really nicely detailed vinyl. Like, especially if you're really into repainting th figures, this guy should be a really cool one to do. Because even the wings, the membranes on the wings got a lot of nice detailing on them as well. So are you saying this is for, like, the people to do customs? I'm just saying, if you like repainting figures and doing customizing, this could actually be one that would turn out looking really great. And they also mentioned, too, it does have the extra mini wings, but they are permanently attached to the figure. So they are tucked in right there. Oh, excuse me, I had a yawn. So overall, really sweet Destroyer. If you guys, if you don't have a Destroyer for a collection, this is a solid option to get. It's also a fairly inexpensive option to get. Which makes it good, honestly. Yeah, because, to be honest, I was just going to say, this almost kind of looks better than the Super 7. At least uh, in terms of proportions. I plead a fifth, hoping the Super 7 sends us a figure, so I just plead a fifth. I don't think they're going to send us a figure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're ever going to send us anything. But I asked. <laughs> I asked before we started doing the Godzilla videos. <laughs> I'm kind of glad they didn't send us it because then I would be like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. True fact. We got to be honest. 
Yeah. But like I mentioned, these are actually really sweet. I always personally, for me, I always really liked buying the Movie Monster series and the Bandai vinyl style Godzilla figures. And this is honestly one of the cooler looking ones. Granted, it maybe would have been nice to maybe scaled a little bit better. But like I mentioned, these are meant to be played with and meant yeah. for children, which don't generally, I think, care for the scaling nearly as much. Well, the amazing thing about this figure is there isn't too Forget many like screen. like two. Uh, too many playable, except those uh, playmates. So I kind of appreciate these. Well, what's nice too is with. if you bought, if you were buying those, these make for really nice companion pieces. Yeah. And to be honest, if you still have your playmates burning Godzilla, which I'm sorry, <laughs> at least he could play with it. With oh, this. He, oh, he burned. Because they also have that destroyer. I would much rather have this thing than that destroyer. And this guy costs almost the same amount. <laughs> but anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. So help us defeat those kind just by hitting the like button. Subscribe and become a ranger today. We also got Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, Facebook. Guys, I keep up the date with you and donate. Greatly would appreciate. Also, you guys like to pick up some Godzilla vinyls for yourself. Link in the description for Entertainment Earth. Also, support the channel. Get yourself some cool Godzilla collectibles. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.